In this video, we have a function from r squared to r squared, and it's given by f of x, y is equal to y, x, comma, x. And the question is to show f is not linear. So recall that uh, a function will be a linear transformation. If whenever you look at f of the vector u plus the vector v, that's equal to f of u plus f of v. And this has to be true you know, for all u v. So for all vectors, u v in our vector space. In this case, uh, that would be r squared. And also you have to have this other condition where c times f of your vector u is equal to f of the scalar c times the vector u. And this is for all scalar c, so for all c and vectors u. And c here uh, would be a scalar. So this is a scalar, usually a real number or a complex number. So to show it's not linear, this is what it means to be linear. So if both of these conditions are satisfied, then we say that this is a linear transformation. And this is the general definition, right? You can apply this to any linear transformation. So if you're doing a problem and it's different from this one and you're trying to show it's not linear, okay? The steps are the same. You basically just have to violate one of these conditions. So in this case, we have this right here, this y times x. And that to me just looks a little bit um, sketchy, like something is going on there. I don't think that's going to be linear. You have multiplication. So we need to come up with just two vectors, right, u and v, that we can use to violate this condition. So I'm thinking, I'm just going to make them up and it should work. Let's try u equals um, 2 comma, I don't know, 5. And v equals, let's try 3 comma, uh, four. And let's just see what happens uh, with these vectors. So we need to show, let's show that this, this first condition here is completely violated. So let's focus first on uh, the left hand side. So to do that we need to add u and v. Let's see, so u plus v. These are vectors so you just add the components. 2 plus 3 is 5 and 5 plus 4 is 9. Super simple, right? Just add the first coordinate and then add the second coordinates. And then we're going to apply f to this. So f of 5 comma 9. And we're, here's the formula for f up here. So this is our x here and this is our y, so you have to be careful. So it's y times x, so that would be 9 times 5, comma, and then x is 5. So 5. Again, it's y, x, x. So y, x, 9 times 5, and then x. That would be 45, comma 5, because 9 times 5 is 45. Okay, so now we just have to um, look at f of u and f of v. And I'm going to scroll down, so I'm just going to go ahead and write the definition for f here again so we see it on the screen. Okay, so there's our f. All right. And so now let's look at f of u and f of v. So here's u and here's v. Let me use a different color uh, for this. Let's go to red. So f of u, right? f of u is going to be f of 2, 5. And again, the formula is y, x, x. So it would be 5 times 2, and then x is 2, so 2. So it would be 10, comma 2. And now let's look at um, f of v, so f of 3, 4. Same thing, it's just y, x, x, so 4 times 3, so 4 times 3, and then x, which is 3. Notice how I keep saying it like that. That's on purpose. Um, that makes it easier to do because you kind of have like a pattern. It's y, x, x. So you're thinking of the pattern, not just like, okay, here's where the x goes, here's where the y goes. I mean, you should think of it that way too, but it's just a little bit easier to think about what the functions look like and say them out loud. So now we're going to check by adding these, right? So f of 5, 9 is equal to this. Right, that's uh, f of u plus v. That's the left-hand side, okay? So it's this. So now we need to add f of u and f of v. So we're gonna add these two together. So when we add these, 
right? We're doing f of 2, 5. I'll go ahead and write it one more time just for clarity. Plus f of 3, 4. Right, and again, this is supposed to be linear, right? So, I mean, if it was linear, you would just add them up, right? You would do 2 plus 3, which is 5, 5 plus 4, which is 9, but we're trying to show it's not linear. So let's see, so f of 2, 5 is 10, 2, plus f of 3, 4 is 12, 3, and then you add these, 10 plus 12 is 22, and then 2 plus 3 is 5, so we end up with this. So these are not equal, right? This is not equal to this, so it, it's not linear. So thus, you know, um, f is not linear. And let me just specify why, uh, basically since, since when we take f of this vector, so f of 5, 9, is not equal to f of 2, 5, plus f of 3, 4. And what does this translate to, right? This is the same thing as saying f of u plus v is not equal to f of u right, plus, plus f of v. So it's certainly not a linear transformation. All you need to do is find one example uh, where, where it fails. So um, if you follow this pattern, um, you should be able to, in theory, uh, show uh, other functions are not linear when in fact they're not. And sometimes you do have to use this condition here. Um, so yeah, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Good luck on your math journey.